today. Um, today we're going to be doing a stencil and the stencil in question is going to be of my kitty cat there, Raja, who you can see on the screen. What I have is GIMP, um, an open source uh, program that basically is like Photoshop. You use Photoshop if you like or there's plenty of other programs that do the same thing. Anyways, um, let's see. Um, first of all, I'm going to open up the said picture using GIMP. Can't use the Windows Paint that's it's already opening. All right, there we have it. Okay, first of all, I am going to use the rectangle select, which I already have selected, and I am going to cut him at. That's pretty much got him. Now, go up to select, invert. That gets everything selected outside of him. Edit and cut. There we go, that's just left him. Beautiful. Alright, now go to image and auto crop. Right, now that is the image right there. Now it's a pretty simple process. You just go to image, mode, and we have grayscale. And that turns it into black and white, which is what you need to do if you're going to be doing a general black and white stencil. And next they go to colours and brightness and contrast. Now this is the key to it all. First of all, take your contrast right up to the top. Second of all, take your brightness up to where he starts coming into view. Now that's too much, that's pretty much all the way up to the top. Well not quite, but close enough. Alright, I'm going to drop it down because I've done this one before to 112. At 112, this might get a bit blurry, but you'll get the general idea. That's what it looks like. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, if I blow it up a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Alright, now that's good enough. Now, if you were to print that out, you're going to print out a lot of ink. So, that simple thing to do is to go to colours and we have our other invert that one right there okay invert now ah, this might confuse your head a little bit but that there that you're looking at is what you're going to be cutting out anyways let's go over here to the printed out picture excuse the red colouring okay that there is the printed printed out picture as you can see there's these little patches in here, which are just where there, it's all black, and yet again the saving I've chopped them out. Doesn't matter because they still work to that. Anyways, what we have here that I like to trace out of is acetate overhead projection paper. That's a packet of it there, and that's the stuff. It might not look like much, but it's plastic and it does the job beautifully, and it'll give you virtually unlimited stencils. Anyhow, back over here, I like to use a uh, scalpel, I actually use the real deal, a real scalpel, I prefer it, as you can see I've got this uh, thing which you pick up from the agent to put around your pens, makes it a little bit more comfortable to hold. Anyways, when there's many different things about stenciling, but um, when you're doing a stencil, having a very sharp blade is good and this is beautiful because these have a whole bunch of these things surgical blades which I bought that packet of 100 for 30 dollars Australian anyhow next step as I sh will show you this has been masking tape down I've already cut this one so I can now remove the masking tape bear with me for a second Okay, that is our stencil, which doesn't look quite much at the moment, but if I put it onto black paper, you might get a bit of an idea. There we are, the cut stencil is sitting over black paper. Now what we're going to use is, I have here spray adhesive and white spray paint. That's going to get us what we need to do. Okay, for the next step, we have our said spray can right here of adhesive. Now I have the uh, image turned uh, backwards because you don't want it to go the opposite way from what you don't want it to do. Okay, so just give it a light spray. Oops. 
So, okay, now, we just wait for a moment, and uh, let it dry. Okay, now next thing is, um, we have the stencil cut out of acetate glued to the paper in question, which in this case is black paper, because it's going to be a white stencil on black paper. So the next step is a pretty simple, obvious one that anyone who does stenciling is going to be doing. One can of spray paint. Excuse the change of light as I uh, move outside so I don't poison myself with the toxic fumes. And have a bit of a spray. You just do light sprays and from about 20 centimetres away. So says Banksy. couple of times and uh, let it dry for a little bit just in between. Okay, here we are, the final step. I've done a couple of coats of spray paint. Um, I've used masking tape because the A4 acetate was just a fraction bigger than the um, paper that I was working with. Anyways, yeah, it's just a case of peeling off the stencil from the paper. doing it one-handed because I'm holding the camera. And we have my kitty cat, which I'll bring inside to the light. And there we have it, the finished stencil. I hope you like this tutorial and gain something from it. And um, yes, I'll do more stencils as time goes on and more tutorials, I do hope. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.